Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about acceptance of pushdown automata. In our previous classes, we already discussed, we gave an intuition about pushdown automata and instantaneous description of pushdown automata. Please watch those classes and come back here. We use the same examples which we discussed in our previous class. Coming to this today's class, acceptance of a pushdown automata means so when we are going to accept the given string, that is what acceptance of pushdown automata means. In our finite automata, we discussed that when we are on the final state, we will we are going to accept the string. If you are not on the final state, we are not going to accept the string the same way. Pushdown automata acceptance done in two ways. Acceptance by final state or acceptance by empty stack. From, from these two points, what we are going to understand, we have to start thinking logic to construct the pushdown automata based on two ways either we move to final state or based on the empty stack so any one of the way you can choose and think about the logic how to construct the pushdown automata different examples will be discussed in our coming next class now coming to the we will we'll check the both the examples Take the language L is equal to A power N, B power N, N greater than 0. This is the example we are using from the last two classes. Our assumption here is you already know what's this logic, how we have constructed this. Based on that, we are not going to explain in detail about the how to construct this pushdown automata. In our last two classes, we already discussed about this. So, so now coming to the pushdown automata, a power n, b power n means equal number of a's followed by equal number of b's. This is what this language says. So whenever you see a, we are going to push into the stack. Whenever you see a, push into the stack. Whenever you see a, push into the stack. If you see b, pop a from the stack, pop a from the stack, pop a from the stack. So this is how if there are equal number of a's and equal number of b's followed by equal number of b's, our stack will be empty. So this is one way, yes, the given string is accepted. That is how the logic has been designed. So now how, how we design acceptance of using finite, uh, using final state. Q0, we start from Q0. On Q0, if you see A and the stack top is, uh, means initially the start symbol of stack is Z0. A Z0, we are going to push the A. If you see A and the stack top is A, we are going to push the A. Means we are going, whenever you see A, we are going to push into the stack. If you see B, we are, and the stack top is A, we are going to pop the A. And if you see B and the stack top is A, we are going to pop the A. Whenever you see this uh, epsilon means input is completed uh, and the stack top is Z0. Uh, we are moving to QF and we are doing no operation. Z0 is remained same. We are moving to QF. Uh, in this example, we have chosen this example like this and we, we have moved to QF state. QF is the final state. Uh, so this is how we write the logic for moving towards the final state. Final state logic won't consider what remain in the stack. It won't consider about it. If you are in the final state uh, during the completion of the input string, it is accepted. That is how we have to design the logic. Coming to the next one, it's very simple. The same logic, uh, the first state is same. We are moving whenever you see B on the stack top is A, we are moving to Q1 state and uh, we are popping the element from the stack. Uh, and whenever you see B on stack top is A, we are popping the element from the stack. Uh, but whenever you see epsilon, input is epsilon. Uh, means uh, we string is completed and stack top is z0 we are popping the z0 also means uh, we are making the stack uh, empty so what this is what the difference between stack uh, using a final state and using empty state uh, you uh, empty stack uh, this is how we write the pushdown automata logic uh, you can write it in both the ways a, any one of the way you can choose uh, so let's see the instantaneous description for processing of the string using both the methods. Q0, A, A, B, B, Z0. This is the input string we have chosen. If you see A, is A and Z0, we are going to push on to the A, Z0. This is also discussed. That's why we are not explaining how this is processed. A, if you see the input symbol A, we are going to push. That's why the input stack is A, A, Z0 and the input string is B, B. 
if you see b and uh, the top of the stack is a we are going to pop the stack that's why the input is b and the stack top is a z not if you see b and uh, top is a we are going to pop the that's why the input string is epsilon and stack top is or not there only z not is there that's why and uh, if you want to move towards the final state we are uh, if the input string is epsilon and the stack top is z not we are moving to qf we are doing no operation the same thing can be say, written for a stack uh, empty state if you see the input symbol is j epsilon and the stack top is z naught we are going to remove this z naught and making the stack empty this is how we write the instantaneous description for the empty stack so these are the acceptance of a uh, input string by a given push down automata hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you